schools closed due to the C-19 virus could soon bring students back as part of a phase reopening. State Superintendent Eric Mackey saying it could happen next month. Our Lee Peck standing by now live with details and Lee, you just got off the phone with Superintendent Mackey. Tell us what he had to say. Hey, Byron. Yeah, I just got off the phone with him minutes ago. He says they plan to finish out this school year as planned remotely uh, through June 5th, but days later, as early as June 8th, students 13 and older will be allowed on campus uh, in groups of 10 or less following those uh, CDC guidelines for the start of summer school and athletic practice. Uh, jump to July 6th, then younger students will possibly be allowed on campus or for some summer literacy groups. Those are in important to uh, developing uh, reading, good reading habits. Uh, he says that's a little tricky though because with the younger students, it's harder for them to you know, try to social distance. But all of this is a plan to uh, phase in this reopening of schools. And again, we talked about a lot of things. Uh, he says they're already looking at plans uh, for the uh, athletic seasons, especially a school football. Uh, they are working towards something at this point. He says that's still in the works. Of course, practices will also start up uh, closer to the start of the school year in August. He also says uh, they have learned a lot, uh, especially in a short amount of time as they try to uh, finish out this school year remotely, uh, learning online, this new approach to learning. He says uh, this has been invaluable to not only teachers and students to show them what they can do, but uh, you know, if we have to do it again, we are prepared. He also says they do expect to have uh, learning gaps and he says they will address that when school starts in late August. We'll hear much more from him. He'll explain this new reopening phase coming up on your most local news at five. We also will have a reaction from Baldwin County School Superintendent Eddie Tyler. For now, live in downtown Mobile, Lee Peck, Fox 10 News.